So I'm gonna see if I can take the the back part of the cab off and so I can use a backhoe. So we'll see how this works. So as I've mentioned in a previous video, this cab is the um, original tractor cab 12078 and it's originally made for the BX2380, 1880 and 2680. So this wasn't made for the BX23S but I uh, just put on and it works fine. So um, they have a new cab for the, for the BX23S and that's cab number 12244. So um, I'm not sure from what I understand it doesn't remove the, you're not able to remove the back, but um, if anyone has one, let me know. But uh, this is what I do for this one and it uh, works. And there we have it, back of, uh, or the uh, back of the cab off. And now I can use the backhoe. Okay, so here we have it. Get the rear of the cab off. So I can put that backhoe on use it. So I have a big log that I have to take out. It's been here for about two years because I just could not move it. I have no idea what it weighs. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, I hope the backhoe, I'm going to try the backhoe to pull it out of here and if that doesn't work I will, I'll see if I can pull it out. So Anyway, I gotta move my stuff here and give it a try. Thing I had to show you folks. Um, so to spin the seat around, what I had to do was just um, unbolt the bracket right there, and uh, just I uh, just put the screw back on so I didn't lose it. But uh, you just uh, have to move it out of the way a little bit and spin the seat around. So that's a um, that's something that you'll have to do with this cab to be able to use have the cab on and use the backhoe. So I just use it as uh, some practice time. I haven't used it. I only used it a couple of times and it's the first time since winter. So I uh, just played around with it a little bit and I just finally just ended up dragging it. And anyway, it worked.
So I'm just going to see if I can cut this up a bit. So this is my, uh, so I can get this camera angle down. Uh, it'll do, I guess. So this is my first chainsaw. It's the uh, steel MS-180C. I think it's a 30cc. Um, I'd never used a chainsaw before, so I got this because I thought it was a half decent size for the for, for one acre and whatever, but it just wasn't enough. So um, after a year of using it, I found it just wasn't um, wasn't enough for what I needed. First, like for example, that log that you just saw, I cut that down with this. It took forever. So I picked up a uh, Husqvarna 545, um, got a good deal on it, so it's the uh, professional version, I guess, so and it's uh, 50cc, and I tested it out and it works way better, huge difference from the from the 180, not the brand, just the, just the size, so anyway, we'll use this and uh, cut this log up. And as you see a couple times here, I didn't enable the safety for the chainsaw, and uh, you should do that whenever you're not cutting. I just um, I thought I did, I guess, because you just pop it over with my, with my hand, but I guess I was kind of in the moment and didn't notice it. So good, uh, good idea just to make sure you lock that up whenever you're not cutting. There we have it. Logs cut. That chainsaw works great. That would have taken me another, I don't know, probably 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes with the other saw. So, yeah, happy I got it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope everyone's having a great spring. And my next video, I have a trailer, a new to me trailer that I picked up. Um, and uh, a tow bar so i'll be setting that up and um, going through that in the next video thanks everyone bye